Thanks, Melissa. It's Monday, which means we talk to TMZ here on Winging It Buffalo Style. And we have Itai here today. And Itai, we need to talk about Lindsay Lohan and her ridiculous claim that she had $10,000 taken along with her purse. Yeah, this is interesting. Apparently, she went to a party in Hawaii. You know, she's gone there on vacation because it's been very stressful working at the morgue for about uh, three minutes. Uh, so she's in Hawaii. She goes to a party, and uh, she uh, forgets her purse in uh, the car. So she goes back to get it, and lo and behold, the $5,000 Gucci purse is missing. And we're told that she basically got the entire party into a frenzy looking for her purse, Eventually, and you know, here's the, 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 the worried part about this part. This is why she was so uh, frantic about it, is all her paperwork was there, including her uh, documents, her passport, her traveling permit, because she needs a permit now to travel anywhere. So she's going insane getting the entire party looking for her purse because she has to be back here on Wednesday for her hearing. And if she doesn't show up for her hearing, she may be ending up in jail because, as you remember, she tried that once before when she was in Cannes a few years ago. Remember that? Yes. And so, yes, remember she went to Cannes to promote a movie and uh, forgot her, and lost her passport. The passport was stolen. So she couldn't come up with that same excuse again, only this time it really was stolen. Um, anyway, some, apparently they look at this guy, this suspicious-looking guy, local guy. They ask him if he saw anything. He says no. But then he comes back 10 minutes later with her purse, minus $10,000 in cash. But we're told she's so happy about getting all her documents back that she never asked any questions. <laughs> Who carries $10,000 in their purse? Oh, I think I'm going to buy some gum. Let me put some $10,000 just in case. You know, I hear things in Hawaii are very expensive, so maybe it is ten grand for a piece of gum there. <laughs> I don't know. All right, next we're going to need to talk about Kim Kardashian. We're hearing claims that um, a Chris Humphrey fan attacked one of her friends? This sounds crazy. Yes. This is one of those soap operas beyond the reality show. Yeah, Jonathan Shaban, who is one of her PR slash best friend people, uh, has this event, and he is, um, and he has the event at Dash over the weekend in New York City, and he's beefing up extra security because he knows Chris Humphrey's fans, I didn't really know they existed, but apparently they do, <laughs> are really upset with him because he threatened to sue Chris Humphreys because Chris Humphreys called him gay on the show. Uh, yeah, so he beefs up security. Apparently, it didn't do much to help him because this guy threw a, uh, a flower bomb at him, literally just boom, right at his face. Um, and we know that it was a Chris Humphreys fan because right before the person threw the bomb, the flower bomb, he said, this is for Chris Humphreys. So that's why we think it might be a Chris Humphreys fan. No, you know, not Go a bad figure. idea. Anyway, uh, we don't know who the culprit is. All we know is it was not a very good moment for Jonathan Shaban, who is apparently not gay, by the way. I should mention that. Okay. Why do people do that? I, th I think it's offensive for all gay people that someone sues someone because they said that they were gay. It's What's that uh, about? You know, the Kardashian family just brings Ugh. drama everywhere. So many issues to discuss, <laughs> though. Uh, Itai, quickly before we go, we want to say congratulations. We hear you got a new car. That's some exciting news from TMZ. <laughs> I did. I got one of those tiny, tiny, tiny smart cars. <gasps> I and want guess one how of much those. I get per gallon. How many miles per gallon? Oh, it's tiny and it's oh, and it's a convertible. Uh, guess how much per gallon? How much? You won't believe it. Uh, Forty-four uh, miles a gallon. No way. Isn't that well, insane? Itai, congratulations yeah. on that. If you want more from Itai <laughs> and the rest of the crew at TMZ, you can catch it right here on CW 23, 1030 at weeknights. We have to go now to our Kitchen World kitchen, where Joe is making up something very great.